Okay. Let me get this straight. The three of you went into Professor Middleton's office. Actually, we broke in. The door was locked. Well, I'm not gonna lie to her. I see. You broke in. And we'll deal with that one later. So then, Corinne entered and was sucked into a vortex. That's pretty much what happened. Professor Zachary. <clears throat> I went to the office, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I also checked her room. Now, she wasn't there, but it did look like a tornado had hit half the room. Uh, that's my half. Anyone think of asking me what happened? We know what happened. We were there. Oh, and did you know that her parents came and picked her up 20 minutes ago? She's checked out of the school. That's bull. L Loney. <laughs> she didn't check out. Well, not in the normal way. Miss Trent, <laughs> I can see that your stay here is going to be a very challenging one for both of us. I expect you to help me box up Corinne's things to send to her new school in Switzerland, as I was instructed to do by her parents when they picked her up. Now, and this is for the three of you, stop snooping around. There is nothing wrong at Blake Holsey High, and you're scaring the other students. Professor Zachary, I'm going to make them your responsibility. Me? But I, I didn't do anything. Then I... you'd better start. Good day. Mr. Pearson, we've lost another one, and this time it's a student. 